Welcome back to What RT Noobs for General Disturbance. This is a Struv S1. It's a tier 8 Swedish premium tank destroyer. It's located on the southwest spawn of Highway and it's under the command of AC 1776. And he's just platoon with someone. It's the Panther 2. Okay, well, game started. And this is one of the few vehicles that fires standard APCR. It's 105mm gun with 390 alpha. And he's moving away from the spawn point. Now this is one of the test beds for the uh, principle of the siege mechanic. And uh, well a lot of people actually like to have this uh, premium vehicle because it is actually quite deadly. Now he's setting up a nice little position using the trees for cover. And from here, he's relying on other people to do the spotting for him because he wants to stay within those trees, make sure that the enemy can't see him and put rounds into him. But he's kind of hoping that somebody will come up the middle of the map and therefore he'll get shots on them. His view range isn't that great, but he's able to see as far as the bridge. Nothing to shoot at yet. Seems the Yag Tiger eighty eight seems to want to use the same bushes. Still nothing to shoot at. This is uh, a bit boring. But things may change because the enemy have now arrived in the city. And if he turns slightly to his right, you might actually notice there is some enemy tanks in sight. Okay, now he spotted it. KV-122 and puts a round through. It's a high roll. Right into the engine bay. He's a one shot. Get him in the next round. And the target's dead. Okay, kill went to the uh, SU-152. Well, we've got another target there. Just saw him briefly. I'm not sure if we've got a shot there. I think it was a Comet. There might also be a Lurva further north of the city. Oh, there's the Comet. The Comet's coming to sight. He's actually slightly to our left. There he is. Okay, we've got shots on him. Yes, we have. Good shot! And a high roll as that. 426 hit points. Right, now we've got the Lurva turned up. And yes, he is in sight, so we can get shots on him as well. But unfortunately, our Eagle 7 keeps getting in the way. One into the engine bay of the Lurva. Nope, that one didn't go. Now we've got him in sight. Unfortunately, it didn't get through the armour. I think that one bounced off the rounded turret. That one went through. That was a good one. Okay, we've got uh, one enemy tank just coming out the city. Skoda T27 to the north, actually. The one we're looking at at the moment. He can't see us, but I think we're getting requests to focus on that Skoda. Well, we are focusing on it, but I think they're rather insistent to for us to relocate. Might not be a smart move, because... There's only one tank, our Eagle 7, blocking the enemy coming out the city towards the west. And a Comet, okay. Same one we fired at before.
Now the uh, mutant and the lurver at the edge of the city now. So there's the comet. Oh, unfortunately missed him there. He's trying to outflank our guy. Yes, nice round there. He's a one shot now. He's headed back north. For, oh, he's taken out. He was killed by the Udo's 03. But unfortunately, we've lost the Eagle 7, which means now we're going to be spotting for ourselves. Should start coming into sight soon. We're only four left on our team. Only three left on our team now. Facing nine opponents. This is going to be very difficult. Oh, there's the Lurva slightly off to our right. Hayseed's not paying attention. Come on, Hayseed. Move your aim point. Has he gone to sleep? Move. There we are. Target. <laughs> Finish that one off. Not much the lover can do at this range. Oh, that didn't go through, and that was aimed at the lower plate, which of course is the weak spot on the lover. But he is a one shot, so this will be it. Yep, he's gone back to the garage. We still can't see that mutant. Skoda T27 coming in from the north alongside a Centurion 5-1. Turning around and nice round into the Centurion. Finishes him off. Skoda T27 is a one shot. But the mutant comes into view so we're going to have to deal with him. That was a snapshot. Yudas and the Yank Tiger 88 have moved up to a position where they can fend off the Yudas on the enemy team. And they've taken him out. Here comes the mutant. And he's gone. So that's third kill now for Hayseed. Fourth kill about to arrive. Well, it's not going to be a fourth kill. He's going to have to fire a few more times in. But he got one in. The Panther 2. Well, I'm not sure he actually noticed where we were. <laughs> he knows from where he's being hit. But he can't see us. And now we've lost sight of him as well. Because of all the fo foliage in the way. Okay, he's coming in. Here we go. And he's a one-shot now. So this will be the fourth kill. It's getting close. We've auto-aimed on. Yes, got him. Where have we seen? Nope, but we've spotted a Waffentrager of Panzerfear coming towards us. And we just got hit massively. Put one into him. He's still coming. Oh, no, didn't get that one in. Put him back over the ridge line. There's only one enemy left. It's this Rhine Metal Ball Sig. And if we get this, it wins the game. Yag Tiger's come down, so we can push in now. Got a hit. He's now one shot. Yag Tiger goes in for the ram, does he? No, doesn't get it. But it is a one shot now. Next shot will finish the game and it does and it's the Yag Tiger 88 who gets the kill let's have a look at the end of battle stats well it's an ace tanker for Hayseed 1776 and the Striv S1 he got a bruise medal for getting at least 5 critical hits he got 11 in that one a fighter badge for getting at least 4 kills he got uh, 4 exactly and a fire for effect for doing more damage than hit points for his own vehicle but he also managed to pick up a high caliber for dealing the most damage in that battle overall. Let's have a look at team score. There you go, 6,178 hit points of damage in that game. The highest amount, the next high scorer was the Centurion 5-1, who managed 3567. And after that, it was the Mutant 3338 for him. And we can see that uh, Hayseed, uh, where are you? There you go. Oh, he's right at the top. Uh, when it came to um, kills, 
again it's Hasey with uh, four kills, so did the UDS 03 and the Mutant. And the next high scorer was the Centurion with only three and the Leo as well. And when it came to base XP, it was Hayseed again with 1,486 base experience points. So he has got the top in all three columns. Uh, 1,000 goes to the Type 59, 866 to the Yang Tiger 88. He fired 28 rounds in that game, got 20 direct hits and 17 penetrations. Damage of 6,178 hit points, of which 4,060 were at more than 300 meters. He received one hit. It was a penetration. That was from the Rhine Metal Borsig. Got very close to put that round in and did a huge amount of damage, but it didn't finish off uh, Hayseed, and Hayseed just kept on going. Three enemy vehicles spotted, eight enemy vehicles damaged, four killed, and 440 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium account, he earned 109,665 credits, and this is why this thing is such a good credit earner after all those um, those four kills. Uh, after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, he took away a profit of 61,386 credits. He picked up 1,486 XP, got times two for the first victory, and 4,458 from personal missions payout, and a bonus for premium vehicle of 223 as well. So his total, 9,139 experience points from one game. That's very good. So congratulations, AC, nice ace tanker and high caliber. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification button. Thanks for watching.